the max readings represents the highest readings registered by the instrument during the current operating session. Pressing the mode button a third time will show the STEL screen and a fourth time will show the TWA screen. The MultiPro must be in continuous operation for at least 15 minutes before it will be able to calculate TWA values. For the first 15 minutes of any operating session, the screen will show the length of time that the instrument has been operating instead of the TWA values. Please note that if the mode button is pressed three times quickly, the MultiPro will enter a calibration subroutine. So always pause briefly between screens. To turn off the MultiPro, press and hold the mode button until the display reads release button. The screen will then display off and please wait will then be shown, after which the screen will go blank. The MultiPro can be used in either diffusion or sample draw mode. In either mode, the gas sample must reach the sensors for the instrument to register a gas reading. The sensors are located at the bottom of the instrument. Each sensor has its own sensor port. In diffusion mode, the atmosphere being measured reaches the sensors by diffusing through the sensor ports. Normal air movements are enough to carry the sample to the sensors. Diffusion style operation monitors only the atmosphere that immediately surrounds the detector. The sensor ports must be kept free of obstructions. Blocked sensor ports can lead to inaccurate and potentially dangerous readings. The MultiPro can also be used to sample remote locations with the optional hand aspirated sample draw kit. To use the manual sample draw kit, connect the short section of hose that comes from the squeeze bulb to the sample draw adapter. The hose should be attached to the port at the right and below the knurled screw on the adapter. Then connect the other end of the hose to the sample probe. Before using the manual sample draw kit, the seals must be tested to ensure they are adequate. To test the seals in the sample draw system, cover the end of the sample draw probe with a finger and squeeze the aspirator bulb. If there are no leaks in the sample draw kit components, the bulb should stay deflated for a few seconds. Secure the calibration adapter to the MultiPro by inserting the tab and tightening the knurled screw at the top of the adapter. Insert the end of the sample draw probe into the location to be sampled. Squeeze the aspirator bulb several times to draw the sample into the sensor compartment. In order to ensure that the sample is reaching the sensors, allow one squeeze of the bulb for every one foot of sampling hose. Continue to squeeze the bulb for an additional 45 seconds or until the gas readings stabilize and note the gas measurements. Hand aspirated remote sampling only provides continuous gas readings for the area in which the probe is located when the bulb is being continuously squeezed. Each time a reading is desired, it is necessary to squeeze the bulb a sufficient number of times to bring a fresh sample to the sensor compartment. For long-term remote sampling applications, an optional built-in motorized continuous sample draw pump is available. To turn the pump on, simply attach it to the instrument and secure it with the knurled screw. The MultiPro will automatically recognize the pump and will start the pump initiation sequence. Lock the pump inlet by placing a finger over the end of the sample probe assembly. Once the MultiPro recognizes that the sample has been blocked, it will instruct you to remove the blockage. Please note to always use the sample probe when performing remote sampling. The probe handle contains filters designed to block moisture and particulate contaminants, which may cause damage to the internal components of the instrument. Replace the sample probe filters whenever they become discolored or when the low flow alarm indicates a blockage. The MultiPro's batteries are housed in easily removed battery packs. The rechargeable lithium ion battery pack and disposable alkaline packs can be used interchangeably. The instrument automatically determines which type of battery is installed. Low battery alarms warn when battery voltage is too low for safe operation. 
Always turn the instrument off prior to removing the battery pack. To remove the battery, first loosen the top center screw on the back of the instrument. Then gently pry the two clasps at the top of the instrument open while simultaneously pulling back on the back cover plate away from the main instrument housing. Since the battery pack is housed in the back cover plate, this will automatically disconnect power from the instrument. The alkaline battery packs hold three AA size disposable alkaline batteries. Be sure to align the battery polarities as shown in the battery pack. The lithium ion battery pack is sealed and cannot be opened in the field. The battery pack can be recharged while installed in the MultiPro or removed and charged separately. The charger will completely recharge the lithium ion battery pack in about five hours. The green charge LED on the right side of the charger is lit during the charging cycle. Once the battery is fully charged, the charge LED will turn off. Please note that the MultiPro must be located in a non-hazardous location during the charging cycle. Charging the MultiPro in a hazardous location may impair the intrinsic safety. The simplest way to test sensor response is by performing a bump test. Turn the MultiPro on and allow the readings to stabilize. Five minutes is usually sufficient unless a sensor has just been replaced. See the MultiPro reference manual for further details on replacing sensors. Check the readings for fresh air. The oxygen reading should be 20.9% and the LEL and toxic sensors should read zero. If the instrument shows readings other than 20.9% for oxygen and zero for the LEL and toxic sensors, the instrument should be fresh air or zero calibrated before proceeding with the bump test. Attach the calibration gas cylinder, regulator, and calibration adapter with a short section of tubing to the MultiPro. Make sure that the cylinder threads and seating surfaces are clean and dry when attaching the regulator to the gas cylinder. All-in-one calibration mixtures are especially convenient when doing a bump test. Flow gas to the sensors and allow the readings to stabilize. 45 seconds to 1 minute is usually sufficient. The alarms should activate. It is not necessary to make a calibration adjustment if the readings are between 90% and 120% of the expected value as given on the label of the calibration gas cylinder. Readings between 90 and 120 percent are considered to be accurate and it is safe to use the instrument without further adjustment. If the readings are considered inaccurate, then the instrument must be span calibrated before further use. Calibrating the MultiPro is a two-step procedure. Step one is the fresh air or zero calibration adjustment. Take the instrument into an area where the air is known to be fresh. Press the mode button three times within two seconds to initiate the fresh air zero calibration sequence. The instrument will show auto cal briefly before showing zero cal and beginning a five second countdown. To return to the current gas reading screen and bypass the fresh air zero calibration, allow the clock to count down without pressing the mode button. To initiate the fresh air calibration sequence, press the mode button before the unit completely counts down to zero. The instrument will automatically adjust the oxygen, combustible gas, and toxic gas readings to match the concentrations expected in a fresh air environment. 20.9% for oxygen, 0% LEL for combustible gas, and zero parts per million for the toxic gases. Once the fresh air calibration has been successfully completed, the instrument will proceed to the automatic span calibration sequence. The instrument will display the word cal along with a calibration gas bottle icon and another five second countdown will begin. If the mode button is not pressed within five seconds, the instrument will return to normal operation. 
press the mode button before the end of the 5 second countdown to initiate the span calibration adjustment. Apply gas will then be shown alternately with the expected concentrations of calibration gas for each sensor. Attach the calibration gas cylinder, regulator, and calibration adapter with a short section of tubing to the multipro. Make sure that the cylinder threads and seating surfaces are clean and dry when attaching the regulator to the gas cylinder. Once the instrument recognizes the calibration gas, the current gas readings will be shown with the sensor types. The calibration is fully automatic from this point on. Upon successful calibration of a sensor, the Multipro will beep and show the adjusted reading for the calibrated sensor and then move on to the next sensor. Once the calibration of the LEL and all toxic sensors is successfully completed, the instrument will briefly show the maximum adjustment values screen. The maximum adjusted values for the LEL and toxic sensors give an indication of the relative health of the sensors. As a sensor loses sensitivity, the maximum possible adjustment will decrease to approach the expected concentration of the calibration gas. When all sensors installed in the Multipro have been adjusted, the instrument will shut itself off. Disconnect the calibration assembly prior to turning the instrument back on. This video training guide is designed to help our customers in basic day-to-day -day use of the Multipro atmospheric monitor. It is not intended to replace the written owner's manual. Consult the owner's manual for details of the procedures covered in this training video. Thank you for choosing the Multipro, and thank you for choosing Biosystems. No one makes it easier.